Welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to create a flip chart using Active Inspire for the Promethean Interactive Whiteboards. We are going to start the software by opening our first tutorial. We're going to open the first tutorial and we'll be learning how to do several things. We'll be able to write on this flip chart, insert objects, manipulate the objects, and delete objects. This is the first of two videos that I will have explaining several beginning steps for using flip charts. To start with, we've opened the flip chart. We're going to click on the pen tool. You can manipulate the size of the pen by using the slide bar or by selecting how big you want to write. Let's stay in black and I would like for you to write your name in the banner at the top of the page. In addition, you can also use the highlighter tool. Again, you can select how big or small you would like it to be. Let's keep it in yellow and let's highlight our name on the banner. I would like for you to click on the resource button. The resource browser gives us lots of things to insert. We're going to click on the shared resources folder first, and then the subjects folder. To continue on, we'll click on the plus sign by the general folder, and I'd like for you to scroll down until you find the people folder. You will also have to click the plus button so that we can find the boys folder. When you open the boys folder, there are many choices. I would like for you to find boys six. You can insert him two ways. You may either go to the insert button and click insert into flip chart or you may simply drag and drop him where you wish. To manipulate the objects we go to the select tool we click on the object we want to resize and we can simply make him bigger by clicking the increase object size button or make him smaller by clicking the decrease object size. In addition, we can group all of these characters together so that they will all move as one. We're going to click on the grouped button and then we can increase them all together or shrink them all together. I'm going to ungroup them so that I can work with the cat. We are going to duplicate the cat by clicking on the duplicate button. We now have two cats. I'm going to move the second one here so that we can work with him. I'm going to click on the object edit menu and one of my choices is to transform him. There are several choices I would like for you to flip him in the y-axis. He's now facing the other way, which is another great tool in Active Inspire. Finally, we are going to delete objects. There are several ways to delete them. You may click on the red X to delete an object and then simply go to the undo button to put them back. You may click on the clear tool and do several things. You may clear just the writing. Do you notice how our name and highlight have disappeared? I'd like for you to put them back by using the undo button. You may also clear all the objects on the page. So let's go back to the clear button and hit clear objects. Notice how the only thing left is our background and our annotation. Let's go ahead and hit undo to put them back. I would like for you to try using the eraser. The eraser tool again is a slide bar and also you may select by using the buttons. Let's go ahead and erase our name on the banner.
In addition, let's hit the select button. You may click on trash can. Oops, let's select one of them first. And then hit the trash can to make him go away. You may select a person and hit the X to make him go away. I'll put him back again. Or you may simply drag him to the trash can and he will go away. Thank you for listening to this first section on how to open a flip chart, write on a flip chart, highlight, add objects, manipulate them, and delete objects in Active Inspire for the Promethean Interactive Whiteboard.